Hey guys. Hi. I have Cody with me this time because he Sorry. is because <laughs> he is home from work. Um, he just got paid, so we're gonna go through and do our budgeting. Okay. We just got paid. Family unit. Yeah, a family unit. He goes and makes some money, but he says we got paid. We so. did get paid. That's um, how that works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover overspending, which is really just this seventy dollars for a bank fee, and that's actually the interest that hit our credit card. Which hurts because that's the first time this year I think that we've had to pay interest on our credit card. Hey, what do you say? Yes. I don't think we've had to pay interest at all this year because we normally pay off our credit card in full all of the time. And we have not. So, um, okay, so the big thing that we're doing is we're going to go down and take care of basically anything else that has to be paid before our next paycheck. We're not going to get a paycheck now until the 25th of October, and that paycheck is going to have to all go towards November. So basically, this paycheck has to cover the rest of this month's bills. So we have to pay our OPD, our auto insurance, our internet, our power bill, which was 61 something, so I'll just put in 62 bucks. Our cell phone bills, I am going to leave that blank because I don't know what that bill is going to be. And that little bit coming off of the check on the 25th isn't going to hurt us. Groceries. Um, how much do you want to set aside for groceries? You're about to leave for two weeks. Yeah. So, I don't know. like 140 bucks, I think, then. Okay. Because I don't really eat a whole lot <laughs> when she you're really not here. Doesn't. She's the only person I've known who can be like, I'm going to have rice for supper. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, but rice is a side dish, not a meal. <laughs> Unless you're Valerie. Yeah. Um, what about for dining out? I want to say none because we really shouldn't be dining out, but realistically, we're going to be dining out, so I don't know. Like 20 bucks then? 40 bucks? Sure. Okay. Um, no more spending money for me. Gas. How much more gas? We got 30 bucks left right now. So maybe another. And the tank is full. Yeah. Honestly, I might not even need any more. But maybe I'll put in another 30 just to be safe. Okay. Because I don't drive a lot when you're gone either. <laughs> now, for all of the <clears throat> sinking funds. Okay, so we spent a lot of money on the vehicle. There's $917. Well, $897 that we spent. And then we just spent another, like, 450 which isn't showing up yet because it won't have hit the credit card yet. And I'm thinking we might wind up actually covering that up out of the baby fund because I know it looks like we have a lot of money left, but Cody's got to take a rope training course and the deposit is 1050 just to book it. So that only leaves us with like $300, which I kind of want to put back into the emergency fund. Okay. Because a good, that's that's why you see the minus here. A good chunk of our emergency fund went to the vehicle maintenance because we had to do a transmission flush, an oil change, a cabin air filter. Yeah, we, we went in expecting to have to do an oil change and a transmission flush, and it turns out the tires were shot and the battery was no good. Yeah, we also need a new battery. They did an engine flush. So it cost a lot of money. It was like $1,300 mm -hmm. total. Um, so, like, Thankfully, that was all, like, we were able to cover it. That's what an emergency fund is for. And like I said, that remaining 450 bucks, I'll probably take out of the baby fund, um, which I don't really want to have to do, but it is what it is, right? Like, mm -hmm. we have money there. The car had to be done. We don't need to buy baby stuff right now. So how do you feel about putting the other 304 back into the emergency fund? Okay. You cool with that? Yeah. It's probably the best place for it to go. Okay. So that's... It that's our that's that whole paycheck budgeted. Um, not much else to say. It's going to be kind of like a quick budget video this week because we're not doing anything in cash other than our food and dining out. That's like the only thing that we're going to be taking out. One hundred and forty bucks for food and forty bucks for dining out, and that's it. Cool. But at least our bills are paid, so that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so we will go to the bank and grab our cash, and then I will do the cash envelope stuffing with you guys. All right, guys, we are back from the bank. It's actually the next day. Um, I got a little busy between filming this. So we have our cash here. It's all in 20s because we only needed to take out 180. $20 of this is already gone because we did do grocery shopping. 
and spent twenty dollars out of here. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So one hundred and sixty dollars. And we're just going to go through. And again, the only envelopes that we're stuffing are these two, because <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money left over for the sinking funds. So two, four, six, eight, hundred. 20 and $40 for dining is what we're getting. And I did actually have $5 left over for groceries, so that's going to go in here. And dining out, we didn't have anything left because we eat out a lot. That money's always gone. The other thing I like to do when I'm stuffing my cash envelopes is I will just take any change left in here and throw that aside as well. These guys can go back in my wallet. And that is done. The only other thing I want to do now is I want to make sure that I set aside that cash in here from the baby fund for the tires because I know those tires were like $456. And we didn't have quite enough money set aside for all the work that we got done on the vehicle, but we did have $660 in the baby fund. So I'm going to put aside one, two, three, four hundred and sixty dollars for vehicle maintenance. So $200 stays in the baby fund. And then this $460 gets moved to vehicle maintenance. So this will stay in here for now. And then once the payment hits the credit card, I will go to the bank, deposit this, and then make that payment on my credit card. But at least this way I know that I have money for it and that it's not just going to sit on the credit card and accumulate interest, if that makes sense. So that's it. This week was a really quick video. Um, hopefully in the next video we will have a little more to do for cash envelope stuffing, but this is where we're at right now. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!